by the Maroon Club and our player of the game presented by Pepsi. 90 to 79. Rutgers goes to 6 and 2. Lafayette goes to 5 and 3. When we come back, John will be at courtside. Stay with us. So, Mr. Chan, you want to make a sequel with my client, Diet Pepsi? Lots of action, lots of stunt. As always, we're going to need a stunt double. No problem. We've got company. Stunt double. Action. See ya. Oh, that's going to hurt. Welcome back to the rack. Lafayette's four-game winning streak comes to a close. This is the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. John Leone is at courtside with head coach Fran O'Hanlon. Here's John. Thanks, uh, Gary, here with head coach Fran O'Hanlon. Fran, I've been around you long enough to know you're not about moral victories, but uh, kids play, the kids played hard tonight against a talented Rutgers team, and i got to believe there's a lot to build on out there. Yeah, I, I thought we played very hard, and we never gave up which we don't, I didn't expect them to. Uh, and uh, they shot the ball very, very well, better than I've seen them shoot it, you know, and you got to give them a lot of credit for what they've done. And we knew coming in we had to contain them, and we also had a rebound with them. I thought in the first half we did a decent job of rebounding. We just couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, you actually out rebounding them at halftime, and that was my next question. Uh, Fran, were you surprised at how well they did shoot the ball? Well, I was, to tell you the truth. You know, as I said, coming into the game, I saw their shooting percentages like everybody else. Now they probably play some pretty good t defensive teams, but at the same time, I really thought that you know we had to contain, we had to almost give up something. There's you can't cover everything. We can't cover outside and inside. So we we're really working on helping inside, and and they stepped up and made big shots. Yeah, I, I thought you executed your offense against their quickness very, very well. There were a couple of of, of wonderful plays tonight, and I, I think the movement, I think the younger kids are getting it, but your seniors are really stepping up. I thought for a little while, Gary, their youth and your experience, I really thought, other than a couple of great athletic plays down the stretch, I really thought you had a shot to pull it out. Oh, I did too. I, I mean, it was a close game up until the end. I mean, we needed a couple of things to go right there at the end, but for the most part, I, I still felt we were still in the basketball game, and, um, you know, and the way our offense runs and, we, and the way we shoot threes, you always think we have a chance. Absolutely. Fran, it was a fun game to watch. Uh, I know the kids got to hit some exams pretty time. You're going to interrupt them from time to time. A, a tough one at Columbia. You know, I saw them play Indiana earlier in the year. They look pretty darn good. That's going to be a tough game. Yeah, that was Ohio State that they played, State, but right. they played them extremely well, and they're a very good basketball team. Hey, Indiana and Ohio State, they all yeah. wear red. <laughs> Fran, congratulations on a good one. Turn to uh, Matt Bentley, our Pepsi player of the game. Matt, uh, it was tough out there. They were very quick, but you seemed to, uh, again, execute your offense well, and the matchups favored you. Uh, talk about what it was like playing against some of those athletic guys out there. Um, yeah, we knew coming in they are definitely uh, a lot bigger than us, a lot stronger than us, you know, quicker, but uh, we knew if we ran ourselves, we could get uh, pretty much wherever we wanted, just like against any other team, but... Uh, Kind of, they kind of hit a lot of early shots, and uh, their outside shooting wasn't their strength coming in, but uh, yeah. they hit a lot of shots tonight. So You and Bilal had a little thing going with a two-man game on the weak side that they seemed to have trouble solving, and it, it allowed you to not only get some open looks, but you also did a good job on the boards. Were you finding just with, with, with uh, Everest and, and Merrick doing a good job, it opened it up for you a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they, were, uh, they were getting the boards, and uh, I think we might have actually out-rebound them in the first half, which was good. And uh, Bilal, if you want a two-man with Bilal, he's really tough to guard. He can shoot. I mean, he can get to the basket anytime he wants. So they focus on him. And he's a great passer. He was able to hit me on a couple shots. I spent some time on campus, Matt, and I talked to some of the kids on campus. The five seniors have really bonded this year. Talk a little bit about uh, your chemistry and, and, and the goals you set for this team this year. Um, we knew coming in, we've had a lot of experience, uh, the most experience in the league. And uh, we're a tight, tight group of seniors, so we just wanted to uh, just get to the other guys. We, we need a new attitude this year. Coming up, eighth place finish last year. We just wanted to turn this program around, and uh, we knew we had the guys, the talent, the attitude to do it. So, you headed in the right direction. You got to hit the books now. Good luck with that, and then a little trip to New York City. Congratulations on a great game, Gary. Back to you. All right, John. Thank you, and a job well down, done down at courtside. Well, before we get to the highlights, uh, Lafayette places five players in double figures tonight as uh, led by Andrew Brown, 17. Paul Cummins had a dozen. Bilal Abdullah with 13. Matt Bentley with 13 and 10 rebounds as he gets the double-double 
and he is our uh, Pepsi player of the game. Everett Schmidt, again, ties his career high with 14 points. On the other side, Rutgers, a great game out of Inman, 26 points tonight, a season high for him, and 11 points for Jerron Griffin, 14 for Anthony Farmer, 15 for Mike Coburn, and Corey Chandler with 19 points. Rutgers tonight, 30 for 65 from the field. As uh, for the game, they shot 46%. 44% from three-point land and 91% from the foul line. Lafayette, 45% in their field goal shooting tonight. They were 44% from three-point land and 85% tonight uh, from the foul line. All right, let's take a look at our highlights, and we'll start with the Lafayette Leopards, as it'll be Everest Schmidt with a uh, couple of big plays. Everest with a good night tonight as he was up against some big, big people, and Everest battling and strong inside gets himself some of his 14 points. Andrew Brown is just Andrew Brown. He plays this way every single night. He came in with a 15.6 per game average. We'll walk out of here tonight with 17 points. Bentley, as we said, with the double-double. Matt with 13 points and 10 rebounds. On the Rutgers side, J.R. Inman, just a terrific J.R. type game. He played it great at the defensive end of the floor and certainly is 26 points tonight on an 8 for 15 from the field, 6 for 6 from the foul line. And Chandler, he was a thorn all night long. 14 first half points, 19 points overall as uh, Chandler in the ballgame, 6 for 14 from the field, and he was a 5 out of 6 from the foul line. So there you have it, the final score tonight. Rutgers wins this one by a 90 to 79 score as here at the Lewis Brown Athletic Center at the rack. And uh, this has been a pleasure for us. We uh, have enjoyed all of you who watched our ball game tonight on Sportsnet New York. And, John, uh, you were in pretty good shape tonight doing that running up, up and, and down. Up and down, up and down. Got to see some old friends. And uh, i got to tell you, Gary, this uh, was encouraging. As we talked to Fran O'Hanlon, not a guy who's into moral victories, but i got to tell you, the team played well. I think the kids are confident. Looking forward to the Patriot League season. And the Lafayette women did win their fifth in a row tonight over Penn. The next time we'll see you on the Lafayette Sports Network is January 2nd. So happy holidays to all of you. A happy new year to all of you. And John and I will try not to celebrate too much before we come back on January 2nd. So thanks to Rick Giho and the RCN television team and to all of you who have spent time with us in 2007. We'll see you in 2008. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.